Okay, that's right. You guessed it. In today's video, we're going to be going over an, over an explanation of Lenz's Law. And I think this is kind of one of the hardest things to explain because there's no simple equation that you can use. This is very conceptual. Okay, so we have to kind of understand how the concept works, how it works, and we can't just like plug the numbers into the equation and get the answer. Okay, now we're going to go over Lenz's Law. Now this equation, you should recognize, this is not really Lenz's Law. This is Faraday's Law, okay, which tells us that if we have a change in the magnetic flux over time through a coil with a certain number of windings, that we're going to have an induced voltage. All right, so for example, we have a coil, we have the magnetic field, the magnetic field strength, the magnetic field is directed into the page. If we change that magnetic field strength over time, we'll get an induced voltage. But well, what is this negative sign? This negative sign is really, this is Lenz's Law, right there. That's what we add on there for Lenz's Law. And it's just really to remind us of something. We don't really have to put the negative sign there. The negative sign is just there to remind us of something. And this is what Lenz's Law is, and this is what the negative sign is there to remind us of. It says when there is a change in the magnetic flux, so we have a coil of wire, we change the magnetic flux, we change the magnetic field strength inside the coil, then the polarity of the induced EMF, so see, you can see magnetic field, the magnetic flux changes over time, we get an induced EMF. The induced EMF is such that it produces a current. So the induced EMF in this coil of wire, coil of wire will produce a current whose magnetic field, so we have a current in a wire, we have a magnetic field, produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change in the magnetic flux. Okay, so here is opposes, that's what this negative sign is. See, this negative sign and negative, negative opposes means opposite or negative in a sense, so that's what that is to remind us of. But this negative sign reminds us when there's a change in the flux, the polarity of the induced EMF is such that it produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change. All right, now, what does all that mean? So I'm gonna go over four different, these I think are really the four basic examples that you should understand conceptually. Okay, we can have a magnetic field that's pointed out of the page. That's what these dots mean. The dots mean the magnetic field is pointed out of the page. Or we can have a magnetic field that's pointed into the page. That's what these X's mean, the magnetic field pointed into the page. Okay, well, if the magnetic field is pointed out of the page, and we're talking about changing a magnetic field to produce an induced EMF, then it could change by increasing. The magnetic field strength could increase. So it's like I take this magnet with my north end, the red end, and I move it closer. I'm increasing the magnetic field strength. It's still pointing out of the page, but it's getting stronger. Or I could move it away. Well, if I move it away, then the magnetic field is still pointing out of the page. It's still pointing at me, but as I move it farther away, then it, gets, it decreases. The magnetic field strength gets de gets less. So I can have the magnetic field strength increasing, or I can have it decreasing. Well, if I just take the magnet and turn it around, okay, so now I have the south end, because the magnetic field lines go from north to south. If I have the south end pointed, I can move it closer, and I get more magnetic field that's pointing into the page. Okay, it's increasing into the page. Or if I move it away, then it would be decreasing into the page. The magnetic field strength is still pointing into the page, but the magnetic field strength increases or the magnetic field strength gets less, decreases. Okay, and I'm going to go through each of those, and we're going to talk about which direction the induced current is for each of those cases. Okay, the first one, like we just said, we have magnetic field, it's pointing out of the page, and the magnetic field strength is going to be increasing. So magnetic field increasing out of the page. We want to know what is the direction of the induced current. Well, if the magnetic field is getting stronger out of the page, then this coil is going to produce a current that opposes that change. And to oppose more coming out, it's going to want to produce magnetic field that goes into the page. So I can take my right hand rule, point my fingers in, because this is the fingers that point into the page, all right? And you can see my thumb points in the clockwise direction. All the way around that coil, I have magnetic field into the page because my fingers point into the page. And that means the magnetic field is, the induced current is in the clockwise direction. Notice that the way that turned clockwise. Okay. All right. That's the first example. Now, the next one is going to be the opposite. Okay. It's just the opposite. So we, this one should be counterclockwise, but let's just see. Okay. Now the magnetic field strength is decreasing out of the page. It's pointing out of the page but it's getting less. 
the magnetic field, it's like the magnetic field is falling away from the coil. And it's in a sense like you're trying to pull it in it, increase it, hold it up, keep it from falling away. So we move our hands, we put our hand like this, our right hand, and we point our fingers out because we want more coming out of the page because it's decreasing. And that means that this coil, which produces magnetic field coming out of the page, in order to do that, the current has to be going in the counterclockwise direction. See counterclockwise, and it actually turns counterclockwise. All right? So think about those two. Now we're going to do the next two with the magnetic field going into the page. Now this case, there's magnetic field coming into the page. Excuse me, coming, yeah, going into the page this way. Okay, it's going to be increasing into the page. Well, it doesn't like that when it's increasing into the page. It's like there's more in, 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 more in, in, in. And what we're going to do is, therefore, the coil is going to produce magnetic field that comes out of the page. All right, if there's more pointing in, the, the way to negate that is to make some coming out of the page. So once again, the coil, this coil, will make a current that goes in the counterclockwise direction because if it's in the counterclockwise direction, magnetic field is coming out of the page. So therefore, it's counterclockwise. Okay, now the next one is going to be, in this case, it's going to be decreasing into the page. So the magnetic field in the coil, this magnetic field right here, in the white magnetic field here, it's decreasing, but it's going into the page. Well, once again, it's like it's falling away. Now it wants more. It wants to produce, this coil now wants to produce more magnetic field that points into the page. All right? And then that means that in order to do that, the current has to flow, the induced current has to flow in the clockwise direction. So that's going to be in the clockwise direction. That's going to produce more into the page and therefore the clockwise direction. Okay? So that's really all four possibilities. Now, try not to memorize them. Try not to think of one with the other. Do each one separate because you'll get confused. Just worry about what's happening in, the, in each problem. Okay? Like I said, that's all four examples. Really, there's different ways to present it and different ways to make it a little trickier and things like that by moving the coil or moving the magnetic field. And in the next video, we're going to go over some examples. So please watch the next video. It's fascinating. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. <coughs> Excuse me. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Um, give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends so they'll understand Lenz's law. It's really important. It's how electricity is produced. Uh, alternating current. Okay? And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.